following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the club. It's bell time. Drew Kazoo here with Mark Green. And to my left, oh, Joey Business. business. Welcome back. Building. Yeah. Good to have you, my friend. Yeah, the plague is gone. As I... we see now, little giants making their way ringside. Oh, they love them here at Fenway. Bullet Joe and Robbie the Giant. All the energy in the world here. How do you not love these guys? I gotta tell you, I am so excited for this one. This is a gigantic contest that we're about to witness. Pun intended, I assume. No, never. That's what he does, Mark. He's the pun man. But nonetheless, we I are in like for a treat here. I'll tell you though, Bullet Joe impressed me so much last time. Last year when we witnessed him, I've never seen anything like that. That was a fantastic match. Well, actually one of the best from last year's Easily. El Mundo. These two had a real knockdown drag out affair. And for those of you watching at home, if you are not familiar, it is Robbie with the long hair and the beard, Bullet Joe with the trunks and the clean shaven look. And now we see Chad Epic. Oh, uh, who let Chad Epic in the building? Manager extraordinaire, Chad Epic bringing out his Middlesex Express. Flashy as ever, but I think he toned it down today. That is perhaps the least loud suit I've ever seen Chad Epic wear. Yeah, he really, really toned it down for this one. When well, we got Stephen Broad and Stephen Lust. I can't really hear them, but I'm guessing that they're calling everybody chuds. Yep. I'll tell you what, you cannot doubt the success they have had under Chad Epic. Oh, wait a minute. Telling the uh, Bell Time Club faithful here that they wish they looked that good. Well, they do. I guess we have very different definitions of looking good. I'll tell you what does look good are those New England Tag Team Championship belts. I just noticed that Chad Epic is rocking the white socks. That just puts everything over the top. But look at the contest, it might seem mismatched. Introducing in the corner to my left, the challengers at a combined height of nine feet, one inches, Bullet Joe, Robbie Gamble, they are the Little Giants! Oh, look at this. Bullet Joe. I think Stephen Broad just got me too. We got Trent going here. Right, are accompanied to ringside by their manager, Greatness himself, Mr. Chad Epic. He here in El Mundo, though. You're into it, man. You're in for a treat right now. Of 418 and three quarter pounds. They are the current reigning and defending Elk Media Promotions New England Tag Team Champions. The right stuff, Stephen Lust. Beautiful Stephen Broad. The Middlesex Express. Intro. I'll Give tell you what. Goosebumps. Stephen Broad looks like that creepy uncle nobody wants to invite to barbecues. He does. But he's the one holding the gold right now, so. I think it's more silver. Uh, yeah, you're right. Well, I'll or, tell you. Or white gold, perhaps. <laughs> oh, there you go. But I got to tell you, everyone in this contest impresses me. Last year, Robbie the Giant Bullet Joe really put it over the top. I mean, unbelievable. Oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. Cheap shot by the Middlesex Express now to get things started. Championship intuition. That's the tutelage of Chad Epic right there on display. Yeah. Steven Lust is just having his way with Robbie the Giant. And 
They sent him into opposite sides, both looking for back drops, but no! Bullet Joe, what a reversal! I'll tell you what, if you have not seen the Little Giants before, you are in for a treat. Oh. Absolutely, two-time MCW Tag Team Champions, the Little Giants. With some sweet chin music right there. Oh, oh double hip it. toss followed by a couple of kicks. Double team elbow drop. You got to oh. be impressed. Wait, what? Like, what? All before the bell was even rung. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. So now we're officially underway. I guess so. Here we go. They're rolling. Oh. Referee's got to get some control here. We're going to get somebody out of the ring. There we go. One, two. Oh. You know how hard it must be to lift the leg? just to try to apply body pressure for the cover for um, Bullet Joe. There's so much mass he has to cover. True. Oh, Chad Epic already up on the apron getting involved here. And, oh, watch out, Bullet Joe gets, oh, he eats a boot. That's why he's the best manager in the game. It's little touches like that that give everyone, give the Middlesex Express the edge. And Robbie came in to try to help his partner, but the referee kicking him out. Now look at this. And look. Steven Lust taking advantage of the situation. And Broad on the outside just, you know, taking advantage and now Lust too. Oh, and now wait a minute. We got Chad Abbott getting in on it. Stuck Robbie in a little Giants shot. In a bad way, though. It's hard for referees in a tag team match with so much going on, but we got to get better control of this situation. Right, there's so much ground to cover in that ring. You don't realize it. Double stomp. He raked the eyes with the boots. And Bullet Joe know. looks like he's fighting demons. Oh, Steven Lust now just mocking Bullet Joe. And tags in Steven Braun now, a little bit of double team. I mean, on paper, this is a complete mismatch. However, as you illustrated, they're former tag team champions themselves. I, I'm going to have to disagree with you on the mismatch. I'll tell you, Robbie the Giant is a former amateur wrestling state champion. Trained by Brutal Bob and uh, Bullet Joe, trained by Mike Bennett and Matt Taven. So these guys are top notch competitors. And look at this. Bullet Joe is, um, Referee lost his glasses. A little bit dazed and confused. Looks like Robbie the Giants finally come around. Oh. You see the regular tag team execution, just beautiful by the Middlesex Express. Quick tags, have the ring cut in half, keep their opponents on their side of the ring. This is textbook tag team work. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, unfortunately, it's the Little Giants who are on the uh, receiving end of it and uh, slowly watching their chances of victory slip away as we see Stephen Broad now. Oh. And it's spoke too soon. Now. Oh, nice. Rebound there by Steven Rod. This is why they're champs. They isolate the issue and just keep on handling it. They haven't even let Bullet Joe get anywhere oh, we got a near cover. Robbie. And you see the textbook execution on that sunset flip. Got his feet over and the There you oh. go. There you go. You know, when anyone's a champion, it's not by accident. There's reasons why, and they're displaying all of that. And Stephen Lust is about to give us, you know, a lesson. Well, the Little Giants will tell you they're the champions because they hadn't faced them yet. So you never know. Oh, you, Bullet, Bullet Joe is as tough as they come, as he's showing us right now. And this one is far, far from over. Oh, uh, he went for that code breaker. But Stephen Lust able to catch him. And now a variation oh, on the that Samoan might be it, though. One, the cover two. has him. Wow. And so Lust close. is upset. And Steven Lust is beside himself. He's fired up. Chad Epic saying Robbie's a child. Uh, As we see Chad more Epic's of that, always endearing. we see more of that classic, old school, traditional tag team wrestling style at that Mark Green alluded to earlier. Bullet Joe is tough as old oh, rubber, man. Good use but of leverage there by limits. Bullet Joe. Come on, Joe's got to make that tag right now. Come on, Bullet Joe. He's Here crawling. he goes, on his elbows. He's crawling. Hey, if you don't have legs, you got elbows. Uh-oh. And there you go. Here we got go. Some separation. And Stephen Broad just took over. Nice move. Here's his chance. There you go, hot tag. And here comes Robbie the Giant. And he's climbing the second turnbuckle on the inside. Oh! oh what a senton. And Robbie the 
Bobby the Giant is fired up. Oh! oh. Right to the gut. And another one. In stereo. Both men set up. Beautiful. Double missile drop kick off the ropes. Wow, the complexion of the match just changed. And, and Robbie doesn't even know where he is. And perhaps the littlest man in the match has taken on both of the opponents at the same time. Oh, he caught a boot there, though. Uh oh, Steven lost. Oh, meaning oh. of the minds. Uh oh, watch out, Robbie. Wow. Set fireman's carry position here. Wow. What's he going to do with him? Nice. That's going to be it. That has to be it. Into the One, cover. Two. Oh. oh. Wow. And see that Robbie the Giant put many an opponent away with that Yoshi Garoshi. Yeah, I mean, jeez. You got to appreciate the core strength of Robbie the Giant. Bojo still coming. out on the floor as well, so. And is he softening him up for that short notice? There you go. Bojo. Wait roll a minute. Up, roll, up. roll through it, though. Oh! oh! Didn't get all of it, but got enough. Oh, boy, Joe. He hit that code breaker. Nice! Robbie's on top! One, One two! two. Oh, and oh, wait a minute. Come on. Wow. The Chad. Little Giants were one second away from victory here at Fenway Park until Chad Epic got up on the apron. Chad Epic absolutely just screwed the Little Giants. Well, he may regret it now because they've got a hold of him. Oh, and they've got uh -oh, the cane. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, watch out here. Oh, wait. You see that? Oh, Bullet oh, Joe took a the back. Watch the out! Just oh, oh. the midsection with that cane. Wait, oh. look at Chad. I think he hurt himself. Oh, no. Oh. And that's it. Oh. Floats over beautifully. Oh, Chad's better. One, two, three. Oh. Middlesex Express stole one here today, folks. Absolutely. Wow. I got to tell you, though, even in loss, they still looked great. You've got to give it up to the Little Giants. I mean, I didn't expect that. Definitely a hard fun. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, come on. Just a little more sauce on the pepper there. Yeah, hey, Victor goes to spoils. Chad knows what he's doing. So does his uh, team. What a heartbreaker of a loss here for the Little Giants. I'll tell you what, the Wool Giants won a lot of fans here tonight, even if they didn't win the tag titles. But they're going to be back because they are absolutely, by all rights, they should be leaving here the tag team champion. Not a question. Not a question. Tough break for them. If Chad Epic is not here, we have new champions right all now. All right, well, Middlesex Express walk away, stealing a victory. Yeah, Ladies they... and gentlemen, thank you for watching. From Mark Green and Joey Business, I'm Drew Kazoo. We will see you next time.